Hello boys and girls. This video is all about dependent clauses and subordinating conjunctions. Now let's do this step by step. So first what we're going to do is we are going to review what a conjunction is. Now if you remember a conjunction is a word that combines two sentences together. A conjunction can be a word such as and, but, or, those are all conjunctions. Let me give you an example of how you would use that to combine two sentences. The dog ran the dog caught the ball. Now we can take those two sentences and combine them into one. The dog ran and the dog caught the ball. Or the dog ran and caught the ball. We use that conjunction and and we're automatically able to make that into one sentence. Now let's skip over to what a dependent clause is. A dependent clause is basically a phrase it cannot stand on its own as a sentence. It wouldn't make sense in the park. That's a dependent clause. That is part of a sentence, but standing on its own doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, this is where subordinating conjunctions come in. A subordinating conjunction can take a full sentence and that dependent clause or that phrase and smush them together and make a complex sentence or a sentence that is more meaty and juicy. It gives more information. Let me give you an example. And the way that I really like to think about this is as a train, okay? So, up here we have our train engine. Now, our train engine can move on its own. It can function without any of the other pieces of the train on the back of it. And it can get this person, the conductor, to where it needs to go. That is like, our complete sentence. It can stand on its own and be okay. The dog buried his bone. That's a complete sentence. We can put a period at the end and we can move on, just like our train engine. However, over here we have one of our train cars, one of our passenger cars. Now, if you think about it, a passenger car just on its own, not being connected to the engine, it can't move anywhere. It can't do anything. It can't function. Passengers in this train car unfortunately would just sit there. They wouldn't be able to travel, right? This is like our dependent clause. His owner left. Doesn't really make sense on its own. Can't be a sentence. You can't put a period at the end because it doesn't make sense. This is where the subordinating conjunction comes in. After. Now on our train, think about the subordinating conjunction as the piece that connects the engine to the rest of the train. Now we have something, we have a train that can move. All the pieces can move together, they can function, and they can work, just like our sentence. The dog buried his bone after his owner left. All of a sudden, all the pieces make sense, it gives us a little bit more information, and it's functional. It's a complex sentence. So this week, enjoy learning more about subordinating conjunctions.